Hi everyone, thank you for coming. And yeah, as Richard said, uh, we are really happy to be here. And uh, now uh, we are already recording this label. It's an ethnographic label from Nalchik. It's from North Caucasus. Uh, we are traveling around the North Caucasus. Uh, maybe you know North Caucasus because of Georgia and Chechnya. Uh, so, but we are something around, but we are not in uh, Chechnya and Georgia. We are from <laughs> Circassian region. We are traveling around uh, this region to record uh, traditional and local music. We release some field recordings of local and traditional music, but also we produce some new sounds from that region. And uh, to get you more into the context, I need to say that it starts, uh, this label starts, usually ethnographic labels or ethnographic projects starts when somebody re really inside the tradition and uh, he or she perform it, live in, inside of this tradition, or maybe she or he is from outside, but he's uh, or she f uh, from the um, uh, scientific uh, area, and uh, he works for the f as a scientist, but we are from another uh, like uh, point of view. We are the kind like of uh, uh, black metal and noise metal fan, uh, noise music fans that was trying to find uh, black metal noise ambient and experimental music uh, in our region, but we have failed. And the most underground and interesting music we can find in our uh, homeland, it's uh, traditional music. So we start to dig into the traditional music to record and to promote it. And now, thanks for Kuhn of Yuga Futurism, we are in the Netherlands, and now we will showcase some Circassian music. Circassians are one of the ethnic groups from North Caucasus, and we bring Zaur Nagoy, he's from Maikop, it's the Republic of Adegea. He performed traditional music like close to, let's say, old style of our music. And there is another band, Jerpa Jaj. Uh, they are performing, we say, post-traditional music because they try to find their own sound inside of tradition. Because we hate the term of world music because it's some kind of combine of global uh, genres with the local uh, genres. But we don't combine, we find something our own. And we will start from some ritual melodies from our culture.
songs it was the ritual of chaps chaps it means the ritual of healing uh, when somebody was in circassian culture in the past was wounded or uh, sick it was uh, organized the ritual of chaps when uh, uh, the doctor and he was a magician in that time uh, because the medicine in the time was a, some kind of magic uh, but it was uh, logistic. Uh, it was some uh, healing rituals, and of course, it was uh, dances and songs. And this was the melodies for extracting bullet from the wound. Uh, some songs to like uh, to sing it to the illness, to not to come, uh, and so on. So, and the. Uh, the meaning of these songs was uh, from the deep past to till the now it comes, but uh, because we are in our region we are modern people, we we are not some kind of uh, exotic stuff. We 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 are not like uh, because we know what medicine is. We don't heal people by songs. We just sing it. And now uh, the context of the, uh, the original context, uh, context of these songs are lost because when somebody is w w uh, shot by the bullet or by the arrow or when somebody is sick, we don't make this ritual, we don't uh, bring the sick guy to the rich ritual, we just call the ambulance. Yeah, it's it's some kind of logic. Maybe it's uh, very sad for some uh, people who exercise us, who want uh, some tradition keep, no matter how the modern world is go. But uh, and, and it's pity that we lost the context in some some way. But we found another context for these songs, be, and because of this is the songs that this this context this situation where we just sing this song for you of and for people who can't listen it as an art not as a ritual uh, it's okay and we think that to perform music as the music it's something natural natural now for the tradition and that's what we want to keep alive the rituals not maybe as a ritual but as a concerts and as a performing for your friends because we think that concerts and uh, just playing music it's a uh, still ritual and uh, from these uh, ritual songs we want to go to the another cycle of uh, ritual songs it's a uh, hunting songs songs of the hunters uh, then the next song is some kind of our hit of our how highlights and we know that Kuhn of Yugofuturism who w was organized all of this was using this song as a like a promotion and it was a good promotion because it's uh, like uh, uh, we really think it's a good song but the context it's a uh, boar meet the dog in the forest and they start to struggle and uh, the, of course the boar, the pig, the wild pig was stronger, mm. but the uh, dog uh, g goes away to the village and gather all the dogs uh, she can find. It's uh, uh, even the, the strong dogs, uh, the fast dogs, and even the blind dogs, 
the dogs that can't run, but they all go to the forest and kill the boar. So this song about this. Ayer zawiye mafam gham sishka khudri sujj shak phach hasi kwan swisi ha khudri si wusaw wa shudri sadgo ma sadgo misda ha ghar hap fadte ha ghar wujf azte ana chag kar gawahin han daj kar gawahin aja hari shamgo ma sadgo yam zkaham. حقم حقر لغاجي حقم تحجز بوغو شو من شو من سي حجز وي حجز سغز تيب شم شو زرغز سجحم مز حزن قطخزر وعطخوي قز سجحم سدو سسقو غاجتي مجوكم سدبناي عجز سقيت وقوك مدرجوكم سدبناي عجز سقيت وقوك Ajo mezo mezishwi, tesho mezish hapiki. Sido chugu bikan tat har zawi peshkin. Ozu mezishkin, kuda sifa hajin. Yele 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 yele. Oh, the day, 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 the day,
Yeah, thank you so much for this, because uh, in tradition and what we are trying to do now uh, during the concerts and during the festivals or, or doing the drinking, and it's usual situation when we play, it's uh, concerts or drinking. So uh, the normal situation is there is no separation between the performers and listeners, and everybody must uh, join. If everybody must sing or clap or do something. So the reference for the vocal is in the most of the songs it's easy. And if you, I think you, you will get it. F uh, f yeah, you, you need to make this. If you don't uh, understand, you, in our tradition it said, uh, sing if you know the lyrics. If you don't lo know the lyrics, just make this uh, vocal re reference. If you don't know this uh, reference, just listen. But just listen is the last level. So don't be on the last level. Yeah. The, the, and it, it's very easy, so don't be shamed. And be the part of this because it's really natural. And when you, f I, f I think that somebody don't sing because they don't think uh, you are that they are not s good singers. They are not s good singers too. So <laughs> yeah. So you are not. Uh, you you can sing too. Yeah. So because it's traditional music. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, the next song is uh, it's mm. very simple to sing with them. It's a uh, it's a late period song. The, it's a lament of the girl of Abihan. Uh, it's 20th century song. Uh, the girl was uh, supposed to marry on uh, one guy from one family, and they was preparing the wedding. But the other guy was uh, in love with the Abihan, and uh, he steal her from the during the preparation to marry her. But the Fjord's family was really angry about this and it's out of the tradition, you can do like this. And it was like some kind of little war between the two families. And Abihan was like like object in this situation, but she 
decide to choose first family to stop the violence. And this is like a lament, and it's something another uh, in this song, but I will, uh, in what, in, in how we are uh, performing this song, but I will uh, tell about this after. So now just listen to the song, and uh, the Yezhu, the, ref the vocal references to the to in this song are really easy. So if you can, if you are not too shy, you can. Uh, we will be really pleased if you will join us.
So it was a song about Abihan, and it's a, as I said, it's a late song, but uh, what we like in these late songs, if you are not really deep, and even if you are really into this tradition, uh, the difference between really old songs and late songs are not so, like, you, you don't see it because it's the same, because the tradition uh, is still alive, and when you practice this tradition, it's like some kind of style. And the problem, for example, in post-Soviet area, uh, it's like where it's traditional music or folk music, it's some kind of like a, for old people uh, or for village people. And there is a stereotype if you are from village, if you are to uh, perform some traditional music, it means that you are not educated enough. So what we are trying to do is to show that traditional music, it's uh, like contemporary music. And that's why we are here, because uh, warm it's not for all, but for some, kind of, it's for all kinds of musics. And we are think that music we uh, perform, and this song and the other songs show it, it's uh, some kind of contemporary music, but it comes from the real past. So this, uh, why this song? Then because of sound firstly, but because of this context too, it's very important. And now we are going to the epic and heroic songs. And the first song they will perform, it's songs of the hero, of, of an, uh, hero named Anzor. He was like really, uh, powerful guy who, and he was, have uh, many enemies, but nobody can win him in the straight uh, fight. But he was, he has a guy who was uh, cook, he, he was preparing the uh, food and everything for the military campaigns because the military is uh, things was uh, something important in our culture in the past. And during one military campaign, uh, the enemies of Anzorij, uh, Anzor pay the cook guy to, and he, the guy who was preparing everything, broke his uh, swords, his weapons, his guns. And in the night when the enemies was attacked, Anzor was uh, without, the, uh, he was armless and he was uh, died because of this. So this is the song about the uh, like a hero and the betrayness. So song of Anzor. Jobs 
song is, is uh, from maybe most ancient uh, thing from our culture. It's an art epic songs. It's the songs and stories about the mythological characters uh, with the superpowers and uh, it narts. It's uh, some char characters, as I said, with superpowers. Uh, in the very beginning, it was the characters from this uh, cycle was uh, some some of them was a uh, trickster, some of them was good, some of them was evil, but now Zaur will perform the song about Shabbat uh, Anukwa. It's a uh, Nart from the uh, late period of Nart sagas. He's uh, from night culture, the culture of heroes. So uh, it's a story how he goes, goes to the uh, Nart celebration and uh, like he has uh, many things to not to go to them because some beautiful woman asked, uh, called him and some celebration called to him to just join him and drink some something and he said no I have uh, like a business to do so this is some uh, ideal uh, guy so Zaur will perform uh, this song and there is something to tell about this song too, but as usually I will t uh, tell it after the song. <laughs> Hey, 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 <laughs> We shall bray a had the usorish, Kasa Gwesa Branner Hamzut Hayes, where we forgush at the Zumat Hari Roshu. Hey, as a jawun as me, Sassari Sawak, Sassari Wubchak, Ashirogus Apas or Sajora. Hey, as a jawun as her. Wunafujuchu 
Ashipa Usasha Shubraj Bamkas, Sasha Mahu Taros, Taman Yazan, which are Huya Dakari, Uha Wuskutan, Quantum Wokisha Rumba, who will shoot Tajin? Nart Maya Ahoz, Nart Maya Tahoz, what are the self? Hey, <laughs> Quand the Habs would do with the Yajorach, the Sars of Taco, the Serp, Aputaco, while with the Fatajra, Nartim, Miss Rota Kachor, Shua, where we tan or certain night, certain a Yagwasho, what was your Kati, no, what was your Hashwasho, what was your Quapage, what's your Sashwant? Mise Shu Kakwas Nartukurat Fara Pi we Walchum Kuro Yishabzob Zashari Mazhwemifat Samoktam Kusham to Wari Koshapes Jabutam Kusham was Sir Koshek Yuma Wadabrochipkam Kusha Hobsk Churro Y Mai Sir Kekwat Yahaj. Ishawazo <laughs> Tamataze was a Magur Kazizija, Kazaka Banjo, Bajos Korazit Zokaruas, Chapchami Daharum Zotere Rafa. Wawi, we Shabatino, the Shatum Rosi Gorum Tirafer. Yep Zawiawa, Tito Rob the Pepsir Tati Hachanish, Tirasa Hubsher Tati Apple Ships, Tisan of Chadders, Hashashitin. Ti warda da unami ushidra chien akon da da hips hagadra unwa. Hey, si es wa kwas kwas je wa kwas wa shu wa se je racha. Wishen bra ya ya had usrosh kwas kwas bran hamilu thayes wa wifu kwas abzumat harigosh. Hey. Sasri <laughs> Shusharu Sorecho, Japuri, he says, so don't buy you such a pshirwa, he would a rabbush boom grief, a choko hurrya wood, pay the one zuhur, she said, one jayas, hazard, wari rochu. Chapter that he was court, a man of Rahiza, quande psalma, or wafirahui, the Jujua. So yeah, uh, we were in tour in f now in Netherlands for uh, it's our third concert I think, and I tell this story. But uh, I think uh, it's n it's good to tell this story every time for the new audience. Uh, 
that uh, it's something special with this song, but if, uh, now if you will uh, see, uh, look at the uh, circassian musicians who are trying to make a modern music, they all co goes to pop style. And when you when they look at the songs like this and the performers like Zaur who sing the song like this in a cappella with this uh, repeating style, they say, oh, it's kind of boring. Nobody will understand this shit. We need to make it easy for youth because youth need something really modern and they make a modern talking stuff stuff or something like a pop music from 80s. And we said, no, it doesn't, yeah, it's work like this. But uh, what we are like fighting for, it's for diversity of music. And we don't want to lose some styles of music and we want to keep music like this, this like boring music too. And uh, what we are really pleased, uh, what we are grateful for, it's that we are coming in other uh, countries, and f for now in the Netherlands, and we and Zaur sing this song, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you don't understand any word. <laughs> yeah, but and the reason it's not some like uh, hooks in this song or something like this, but you still enjoy. And this shows that music like this, it can exist. And it's uh, not some one way of modern music. So uh, yes, this, this we are trying to do, to keep different uh, styles and uh, understanding of music. And thank you for this, to, uh, to, make your, to pay your attention on such kinds of music. But uh, now we g want to go to uh, because in our music, and we are for diversity, different way of music, and we want to show you some uh, like uh, dance music and some uh, uh, some music that come later. And Alan will show you some yeah Circassian dance melodies that are quite popular now.
Now we will go to uh, another uh, dancing melody because uh, dancing was a kind of, uh, important par part of the rituals and of celebrations. So the next uh, song is from, it's a wuj. It's a ritual dance for ending the celebration, but it's not the end. It's just uh, now we choose this melody. Uh, bec it's interesting because uh, this song is called Sipark, it's, uh, and it's about the, uh, just a beautiful girl. And the li lyrics are the late lyrics about the uh, Roman about uh, some romances. But the melody uh, w which is played with this song is, is uh, it's quite ancient, uh, and it's uh, from rituals of dancing. <laughs> So by this melody, uh, what we are trying to show, uh, it's uh, what, w what we are trying to reflect, it's that there is no borders between the ancientness and modern. There is no uh, some like walls between what we call tradition and modern. And now they will show that these uh, two worlds, that m we think that it's two worlds, uh, lives in in one space. So she park now. Ridaida, 
album of Jerpa Jerj was uh, named Taboo because of a uh, song that we choose as a main song and Taboo, the, this song called Taboo but it's not, the the meaning in our language is not the same as the, like you said, Taboo, the thing you can do 
but it's similar. Uh, even our ethnographists don't can't really translate it. It maybe it's related with some uh, uh, like uh, isl religious uh, influences on our culture. When we say taboo, it's like a, oh my god. So this is a song about. It's a late song of 20th century when one woman, uh, woman was uh, t walking around with her friends, but there was a group of uh, horse riders and uh, they met this girl, uh, asked her to play the music for them and she was ignored them and they raped her. So uh, this and the the main guy from this uh, group was the uh, guy who was uh, like grown up in one family with her. So it was like a kind of brother of her. And now uh, in our region, many people uh, try to make something uh, like that. In the past, we we all the Circassians, we was all the saint. And we was uh, like all the superheroes. We we didn't mistakes. We don't have the bad guys in our culture. But songs like this, it's uh, they reflect that we have the b bad things in our in our community in the past and even now. But our culture through the music, we can see that if something bad bad like this happen, it's uh, something not natural to our culture. Because we, in our culture, our in our culture, our ancestors made songs about something good or something really bad, and if they make songs about this uh, situation, it means that through the music or by the music, they was trying to fight with this situation. So this song is really important for us because we think that our culture is something that's trying to to make our life uh, better and the, our culture is not to like to hide our problems it's our culture is something to that help us to fight with problems we have so this song is really important and that's why we call our al last album taboo as this song called Ya 
trying to keep uh, diversity of the styles of our music. And one of, one of our main styles, it was uh, just a cappella uh, with the, without the instruments, just uh, uh, voices. And the, uh, it's like the main voice and the choir, the Yezhu. So uh, one of the songs that reflects this uh, style is a Shaprisha song. It's a song of a uh, hundred of truths about one hunter m m met in the forest, the uh, mythological creature, the Tamazoa. It's uh, some creature with the one leg uh, full of hair and uh, he that was really powerful. And the hunter just uh, give him his pants and because it was a only one leg, the creature didn't understand what to do with these uh, legs. And while well, uh, he uh, it was thinking, and he, uh, he told the, this hundred uh, of truths to the hunter. So the song of uh, uh, hundred of truths. Wa 
of colonization of Caucasus. It was uh, like a Circassian Russian war when the Russian Empire was colonized uh, Caucasus. Caucas Caucas and it's uh, a lot of the songs from this period uh, about the heroes, about the cowards, because uh, our songs in the past, it was uh, the way of uh, keeping the, the, our story alive, because uh, the ministrels of the past, the Jaguacua, it means uh, it's called Jaguacua, they was going to the war with the army and uh, look at how the battle goes and compose the songs during the battle. And it was uh, really shame if you will be coward and the uh, Jaguacua will compose song Thank about you. you. Uh, it means that uh, yeah, you are lost and your kids are lost and your all of female family are lost. It's better to die than to be in the song as a coward. And it's uh, better to like die poor than uh, it's uh, better to be in the uh, song as a hero than it's uh, to be rich. So the to be a hero in the song, it's something really sacred in our culture. So this song is about the one of the leaders of uh, Circassian uh, resistance against the Russian Empire in the, in the 19th century. Uh, so yeah, and he was known as the Lion of Circassia because of, of his braveness and his skills. And he was in the songs, and because of the songs, he's in the history now. We had a good job. I Yashka, 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 Yashka,
Ya chatu ko chugum ja shesu Ya jawuz shawi tamis Zabjib zja khrikhu Sharqri khiza zaqo qahkawa Khuzbaj chatru ijas Yipi khar te kwadru jiri wutu Yipi khar wutuj urif Shafr mi top khar khigaju Chetz pesher pcho, chup jenz mjaqi atu, sawar kafze tezrab, zashkon kawashinarab, kawashina way, hamu kazbaju, ashmer ishmer jazaku, zishiri duah jafazaw, zarau wi kuz. موسيقى جوا بابشو قومي حاكي زجور عجل زيخر شستر جزو سنات تسخر شام قفجو شعب صغم يالدغو ساور قدر عقاج قلش من عقص موسيقى <تصفيق> موسيقى <تصفيق> Kushra kwasherito, hamte chai te chuk, shesha nae kwa jam nubi, aku shari zasha wau, zadze gurum zar qarash, harra shayim shipa shash, dobe dame yaku shabs, terra gops shujawud, rawud rami sabab, Yaban maqwee fuj Bibra toto fuj Shum jasa zir jasa Zawan jada kwa shuj Zizwa zam kwa juj Thamma ta jasan Quran biyar kwa middo Ta'bib shupa shi ghasho Shasra mi yuwarko ناحية ضاري غافو تاخو جاتب جامحو ومي حاغي ماك وجبا Now we go into the dancing melodies, and the first will be about Masguasha, uh, about the it's a name of girl, and the little it's the same situation as with the song Sipak. The girl, the lyrics are just uh, like uh, uh, love lyrics about the girl who was many guys come to her to marry her, but nobody is good enough. 
So yeah, this song just about the really beautiful girl. Yeah, but the melody is uh, from the old rituals uh, dances. So now Mazguash.
Yeah, so the next song is uh, something like our highlight from the last album. It's a song for asking or for the summon in the rain. Uh, uh, even when we was kids, it was a ritual uh, to summon in the rain in the villages. We was taking the shuffle and make, uh, when we was kids, yeah, we make it, take a shuffle, make a Shotgun. doll of it. <laughs> And we was walking around with this uh, shuffle princess uh, uh, around the village, and the elder people give us the candies, water, and so on. And it, it, this ritual happened when it no rain. And after this uh, ritual, uh, accidentally, uh, it happened rain. So we, it, it does work in the past. Maybe now we will check now. Uh, yeah, maybe song will uh, will work. Yes, yeah. So if it will be rain, sorry. Yeah. S but we the guys yeah, re re rework this song in the term of uh, music, but we think they keep the meaning and the vibe of this uh, song original. So let's check. Yeah. 